Hello everybody, welcome back. This is How To Gaming here, and uh, I thought I'd come hop back on the YouTube channel, uh, and do some uh, more tutorials on how to uh, how to gaming for you guys. Uh, pretty, I I kind of want to start back on this channel again. Uh, get back into what this channel was originally intended to be, which was tutorials and uh, teaching you guys how to game. How to do how to do things in your favorite games. So, without further ado, let's get started. I'm sure by the title of this video, you guys can already tell what we're going to be learning today. So let's hop right into it. All right. So starting with the basics, redstone a redstone signal can travel up to 15 blocks before it is before it is depowered, as you can see here. If I push this redstone lamp right here, it will not light up or do anything. That is because this is the 16th block right here in the redstone signal. Whereas if I put it this right next to a powered signal on the 15th block, it will light up. Redstone can be activated by many, many different ways, such as, as you can see, levers, buttons, redstone torches, pressure plates, detector rails with a minecart and tripwire hooks and speaking of tripwire hooks that leads me to my next lesson powering through block with redstone there are many different components many of them that need to be utilized in different ways many of them that can help you make better contraptions. One of these is the, are things like the repeater and the comparator, which is right here. But right now, the, compar the comparator is a little bit more advanced, so we're going to uh, focus on the repeater right now. As I mentioned earlier with the tripwire hook, if you noticed, this tripwire, this one, this redstone signal is getting powered by this tripwire right here that's directly touching it. However, you may be wondering, why is this redstone getting powered whenever it's nowhere near it? That is because this block is getting powered right here. What do I mean by getting powered? Let's say I have this redstone line running right through here. I can flick the lever, and this redstone line will travel into the block and this block will get powered. Uh, basically, it will act like it's another uh, piece of redstone dust. Except, it, unlike redstone dust, if I were to put redstone dust under here, it would just take the signal straight through. It's not, it won't bring the signal upward or anything like that. This, this block right here acts like redstone dust that can travel upward. It can also power things to the side and underneath it. However, it will not power other redstone dust going through it. It can, pow it can power th things right here, but it will not power more dust. It will, pow however, power a repeater. Now, if you have a repeater on this side right here, or on, like I just said, or, or on this side, it will power through the entire block right here. So that is the basics of uh, powering blocks. We can get more into this with things like quasi-connectivity and uh, other redstone machines, but that for right now, this is just the basics. Speaking of repeaters, that is the subject for our next discussion right here. So if you notice, these repeaters have these little ha has this little line right here with uh, this, this little these little things pointing up. That is uh, well, the texture of it is a redstone torch, which uh, I guess I will get into the next segment. But uh, if, if you notice, you can right click on these things. However, you may not know what this does. Basically, 
it will increase the delay of the redstone signals going through it. So to uh, demonstrate, I have four repeaters, all of them with a different amount of a uh, delay on them. The farther back this is, the more the delay that there is. And so we're just going to, I'm just going to show you how this works with the redstone lamps. And if you notice, that one turned on first, and then these three. That is because this one has no delay on it whatsoever. As soon as the redstone line interacts with this, it will go straight on through into, into the next, into the block or redstone dust or whatever it is right in front of it. Now, this has one tick of delay. What I mean by ticks is this. In Minecraft, the way we determine how fast things go is not with seconds, but with ticks. In one second, in real life, there are 20 ticks. So right now this is on zero ticks of delay, one tick of delay, two ticks of delay, three ticks of delay. Okay? So, basically this, what this means is, this is one twentieth of a second of a delay. This is two twentieths of, of a second. So, if I put a lamp right here and turn this on, that will take two twentieths of a second, or one tenth, to reach to power this and go through the rest of the line. Next, we're going to talk about redstone torches. This is still beginner level stuff, but it's a bit more advanced beginner level stuff. So bear with me. Redstone torches will always power. They're always on by default. This redstone signal right here is powered. So if they're always powered, you may ask, what's the use for them? They turn something on once and it never shuts off. Well, that is well where inversion comes from. So let's put down a redstone signal right here and put this torch on here. Now this redstone torch will be turning this lamp on always. However, if we power this block, remember we were talking about powering earlier, if this block that this redstone torch is placed on is powered, it will do what we call inverting the signal. This redstone torch is now off. Which means this redstone line is off and this redstone lamp is off. So if we unpower this block, it turns back on. A really good, a really cool use for uh, inversion is something called torch towers. Basically, you just chain it. I, I just turn that off, which turns, which unpowers this, which powers that, which powers that, etc. And that is a torch tower. Now you may be thinking to yourself, "How to gaming?" Okay, I get it. You can power lights. There's delay, powering blocks, all of that stuff. What can I use redstone for in my beginner house. Well, if I grab a door 
uh, trapdoor or dispenser or a dropper. Heck, even a piston. What you'll see is that you can do quite a few things. Let me actually grab a block for this. Now you already know that the uh, lamp. So, redstone can power many things. Redstone, open this door. Shut this trap door. And see. Extended this piston right here. And made this dispenser and dropper shoot out their items. Alright, guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, I know this was a short video, but uh, there's not too much more I can explain without going into. Uh, video videos that would uh, take 15 and 20 minutes so i will leave you with just the basics if you're still getting new to uh, redstone and minecraft uh, i hope this video was helpful for you and i hope to see you in the next one where i think i'm going to explain how pistons work uh, don't forget to like it and subscribe and i will catch you all in the next video peace out